Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cornus Nice Knight, and this is find the final station. Now I'm just going to quickly jump into the sound and turn the sound down just a just a tad because it can be a bit loud in game. And that's done. We shall jump back in. This is a game by Tiny Build. They have made some really fantastic indie games. And without further ado, let's start the game. As you can see, I have played a bit of the actual game itself, just to get myself used to the mechanics. This is our character, we shall call him John, because your character doesn't really have a name. Um, we've got 12 pistol ammo. This is sort of set in some kind of post-apocalyptic post world. Um, they had these weird, dark monsters. And people talk about all kinds of weird supernatural events going on, but I won't spoil it too much, we'll dive straight in. Now, where my crosshair is is where we're aiming, so you sort of want to aim for their heads. You can also punch and do a charge up power punch. Let's go through here for now. Okay, this is weird. There's there's some kind of cult. They've all got glowing white eyes and I've got red ones. Hmm, I don't know if I'm infected or they are. Worrying. Now down the slab, let's try going through here. I've got what looks like a fairly good magazine left. Ooh, outside. So at least we know the world is still intact and we're not in some kind of Armageddon-like scenario, or something like that, yet. I'm going to punch this guy and save ammunition. I don't know what these things are supposed to be. They don't look like zombies. I know everyone would say, oh, it's, they're zombies, but they don't seem like it. They, they bleed black fluid. So it reminds me a, a bit of some of, like, the concept stuff of the, um... XCOM games, if you remember that XCOM game that was a first person shooter, they had like black liquid that sort of leaked out of places and that was really cool, that was a really cool thing. Go have a shotgun, loads of dead people and more of this weird black stuff, I don't know what it is. Let's just press on, shall we? Oh god. That was bad. Am I dead? 106 years since the first visitation. Now that's interesting. I have read a little bit about the game and this visitation thing pops up. Now, it sounds really, it has like really religious undertones to me. I mean, like the second visitation, it sounds very much like the second coming of Christ almost. Where, because you, um, okay, you can like loot stuff for money and stuff in this game. I will go into more depth later in it. Um, but back to this visitation kind of thing. It's like it sounds like the second coming of like Christ where Jesus Christ descends back to earth and like everyone is sort of judged on the spot for their sins. And um well they're sort of judged and if you're found guilty you go to hell for all time. And if you're found Well if you're found to be not guilty you go to heaven. All citizens aged 16 and over must attend the annual second visitation drill at the local response centre. Next drill is scheduled for Friday. Administration, administrator of Armand White. Now, in the second coming, it was that everyone, both living and dead, rose to, for, up for judgement. So basically, if the dead, the dead would rise and the dead would be judged. So maybe it's something like that. Maybe it's sort of like all these dark people are basically sort of like corrupted, like souls, or something like that. Maybe it's sort of like, I don't want to think it's zombies, they don't appear to be zombies. You're early today. Martin is not here today, he's disappeared somewhere. Hmm, I wonder where Martin's gone. I'm doing his work today. So obviously this guy's not happy. See, look, everyone's got red eyes, and those cultists had weird white ones. What's down here? Ah, is that Martin? He's blind drunk. Hmm. Well, we got ourselves some cigarettes and a bottle of whiskey. Not too bad. That's something to drink if we get bored at work. Wanted to build guardian. Engineers, mechanics and builders are wanted. Required experience 10 plus years. Accommodation in the lower sectors of Metropole. Meals, double pence and other pr are provided. Ad does not apply to settlers' families. So if we're, like, settlers, 
apparently we're not welcome for this job, which is I find a bit strange. Okay, that's through here. Oh, hello. Vacation is over. The boss isn't here today. You don't need to hurry. That's good to know. I've got toilet paper. Never can run out of good toilet paper and leaky showers. What's in here? Ah, here we go. Screws and rags. Now, if if these if the scavenger items are blue, you can use them to craft things. And we'll get into into that in more detail. I actually like this game. Oh, I think I accidentally closed the door. I didn't peek. Honest. Yes, likely story. Are you sure the, this is a good idea? He's not the best train operator. What if something goes wrong? Calm down, I'll keep an eye on him. James, this is a very important train, I know. So, Upper House Metropole to, to Paul Anderson, head of the Bedford, Bedford Station, confirm blockers code 4694. So, we got some code. If it's a blocker for a train, that would make sense, because trains are normally magnetically attached to like locking devices to stop people from stealing them. While you're away, we stole the new blockers. Boss left the code in his office. Enter it into the panel to the next train. I'll give you more details as we travel. Well, basically, this is sort of how it works. You actually have like these blockers in real life. It's really interesting. It stops people from stealing trains. And I know you would say, oh, who's, who would steal a train? But you'd be amazed people have stolen trains in the past. I mean, just for joyriding or purposes, it's not a good thing. Stealing trains is not something that you really want to do. They have a lot of weight behind them and there's been all kinds of horrible accidents so they're sort of like, these blockers are like, you think of them like padlocks really, or bicycle locks with the trains. Right. The train is not in a great condition. The experimental model. Very frequent operational failures. You need to set it up, set it up manually. If it overheats you won't be able to move. That's bad. Right, so basically how this works is that whenever you see something on the train sparking, you have to sort of go and fix it. The crew have hunger and health concerns that you have to sort of contain to. It takes a full day to get to, or double overtime fare. Sounds great to me. Basically, he's just sort of talking about getting to the main central station. It is one of the problems with this game is trying to keep an eye on everything. Yeah, the blockers. You remember the accident at XR5? It was horrible. Sort of thing, the character couldn't let this slip. Now, in order to leave a station, you need to get an access code for a station from the station manager. Sounds sensible. But what if the station manager is sick? Or else, or something else happens? He has a point, I mean, you don't really want to give the only way to get your train off of something to someone who might not be there. Basically, you have a hundred volts. If you get too many stuff taking too much charge, it will basically... Um, it's going to feed him now, I don't really want it to. But it will keep him tidied over. But yeah, basically, you can see you have the charge here and it goes up. The more stuff you're using, the more equipment which is malfunctioning, the more voltage it takes basically blow out your battery and cause all kinds of problems. Um, so the mechanic of the train is that you have to keep everyone fed and like various bits and pieces. They give you backstory. You can get more people on the train by talking to them. So I'm just sort of skipping it. He basically just wanted to get on the train. He's, he's not a particularly nice character. He's just grumbling about the train being late and stuff. Hello. How was your vacation? I see. I don't have in the, block the blockers code, the boss has it. He went to lunch. You can wait here or look around for him in the city. I'm sorry he's close by. With the new blockers, there's twice as much work to do as idiots in the government. I must admit, that's locked. It is. It does sound like a good idea in practice, but the whole thing about having to have one person with the code, you can't access it without the code, is a bit frustrating. See, everyone here has got red eyes. I wonder why those cultists had white ones. Let's just quickly go up here and explore. Not now. I'm off the day the new cashier resource, so get rid of him or find a new one. That seems a bit harsh. 
They obviously don't have fair work practice in this place. Looked like a hatch. Participant. That looks like kanji. It definitely looks like kanji. Like Japanese characters. Can't really read them. I used to be able to speak. I used to be able to speak basic Japanese. I'm a bit rusty at the moment. But communication problems with the west coast, the area next to the border of the first contact, are unresponsive. We are waiting for details. So, like here, yeah, you have like this first counter. They keep on going. First visitation. Get up at, four, uh, at twenty to seven. Drink a quarter of milk. Run five miles per every day. So, hmm, not particularly going fantastically well. He must have run out of energy. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested. I wonder if it's like has a, like a religious undertone. Why are you distracting me from my work, sir? Because it'd be like fascinating. The whole sort of supernatural, like, like this is sort of like Judgment Day, and we are being judged. I couldn't find the uh, find approach to Adam. He's just like his father. What do we need to do now? We we need to find a detour. I know it's a, a big bulk, but if we can transfer it to Bristol. Or set for life. It's locked. No, it'd be really interesting, like, because in, in the second coming, basically... Hold on. Oh, yeah, crunch. Sorry, I forgot about the train. The key is in here in the suitcase. I left a note with the code in the locker, but don't take anything else besides the code. Yes, you were right. Sorry. Now, there's an angry man looking here. Can we say to him, hey, friend, need help, need a couple more coins for the beer? Well, yeah, well, it's up to you. Be careful, at night sometimes boxes accidentally fell on people's heads. So you're frightened me because I didn't give you alcohol. Great. Alcoholism for you folks. Um, no, but like, in the second coming it's really interesting because... What the hell? Um, it's really interesting because... People that are like stuck in purgatory get to go to heaven but they have to sort of wait. So... Maybe we get like stuck in that situation trying to get to heaven or something. I've travelled here from Megastern to find out two screws were, un were unscrewed. Yeah, that happens more often than you expect. You get people get called out on jobs for all kinds of really pathetic things like, oh my my boiler is leaking and it turns out literally it's just like a loose like a loose valve on a fit a loose fitting or something and they could have fixed it in ten seconds. to go and get the password. Richard Rogers, head of Nil Nimlard, Nimlard Station, confirmation of blockers code 5355. So I am just sort of like blazing through this a bit just because this sort of opening bit has been demonstrated quite a lot and I just wanted to try and get you guys into the main meat of the game because some other people that have sort of been playing this had who were given the advantage of early access like weren't too sore of it but I found that the moment you sort of get like into the actual proper story of it, it really p picks up the pace. It's just the first opening segments. He's hungry. Yeah, it's even worse inside. Is there a problem, sir? Problem? Yes. Yes, I have a problem. I'm afraid I don't understand. Damn schedule train, where is it? The schedule train timetable hasn't changed in 20 years. Yes, I know, because I've been taking it for 20 years. Those idiot stations told me they can't reach the train driver. Okay, that doesn't sound good. What's this? Peter White, another operator. Hey, welcome back. Thank you. No plan route changes. However, there are communication problems in the south. I hope this train can fix this. Me too. Peter is offline. Right, here, I better run back to my folks. I'm afraid I don't know. I bet you don't. Standard route for S40. Never reached the final station. People often disappear in the west. There is, there is a problem here. But trains. 
That is worrying, I have to admit. If things are taking hold of trains. No, it's, it's... I must admit, the mechanic is really interesting, but the problem is that you can't listen to them and fix the train as you can, but it gets a bit... Okay, where are people? Need to leave. Michael has some troubles with, with the patrol, Amanda. Hello, the code? Oh yeah, the code. There was a manual somewhere here how to print it out. Oh, he's with that kind of voice. Give me a couple of minutes. Take a walk around town. Okay, so he's the kind of boss who doesn't know how to use his own fo his own printer. That's just great. Walk through the scanners. Faster. Okay, we've got heavily armed soldiers. Scanners of some sort. Listen, they count a lot of tickets to the south, but I need to get back home, it's important. I will pay, I have money, thank you. Still no details, any word from the council? I think they've already evacuated. Nonsense! So something's obviously happening, you've got martial law being implemented. It's strange, you've got lots of really heavily armoured guards with like riot gear on. How are you going to get to get there? What? No, I, we need to go north. Right, so you can sort of buy food from these places. I have enough to buy another parcel of food. Um, apparently everything is cancelled. I just want to see if that's correct. I repeat, the kitchen is closed, yes. To all destinations. So basically everything is shut down everywhere, which is not a good sign. If you know anything about sort of like public transport, the moment public transport is sort of shut down, it normally means there's some kind of situation going on, because they do it to stop people from panicking. Good afternoon, are you ready to order? No, we don't have that, sorry. So they don't have that either. Let's see one thing. Friend, can you ask me in the kitchen where's my meat? Some coins and some soap. Did you order the damn triple cooked meat? Let's be cooking it for an hour. Ooh, damn, that is a long time. But c the triple cooking stuff is quite delicious. It's like we can't talk to him. Like if you double fry like a steak or something, or double fry chicken, it's delicious. The Koreans do it. You get like double fried. Um, basically, Korean fried chicken is delicious. Like it's double fried. It's uber crispy. Down to the sewers. Some kind of rat. Can't punch. And barrels of black stuff. Okay, this is slightly worrying. Why are they keeping like barrels of black gunk lying around? And there's a wounded person in an air vent. Hush. Don't tell them about me. Something is happening here. Don't believe the military. Okay. More. There's a bloke bleeding in a cage. Come in faster. They're doing stop searches of people and there's someone dead on the floor? Don't move. What are you doing here? You're a rail worker that doesn't hold any authority. If you see if I see you here again, you'll be dead meat. Okay, there's some really weird stuff going on. Really weird. Um I better get back to the train. Here's the timetable, yep. To John Bean, head of Central Station, Keskos. Keskos? Yeah, Keskos. Confess confirmation, blockers code 9394. Find out the code, it's right there. Where's Amanda? Was she the body lying back? Did those guards shoot one of the railway operatives? Okay, that's really, really worrying. is going on? Like I said, I played a little bit, but only, like, I haven't got that far at all. I literally just played to get the basics of the mechanics, nothing else. I haven't, played, I haven't got to the story at all. What do you need? Oh god, he's starving and he's giving food. What? They countered routes to all destinations. I don't know 
anything about this. And this is a central station. Central station in Metropole. It doesn't count. Why is that? Only locals can use it. Bullshit. I heard that exact same thing. They don't even let settlers in. Nonsense. Basically, yeah, this is something I meant to mention. You ba this is basically where I got up to, which is that um, you get rewarded for dropping people off. Your passengers are worth money and resources to you, so keeping them alive is for the best. Why did they stop us here? Can't, can you find out what's happening? Thanks for trying to help, but it looks like they won't let us further. Fantastic. Now I'm late for sure. Mate. Yes, but I don't have any authority anymore. The military has power now and the journal is waiting for you. This is not going to end well. Better hurry up. No, I don't know what, what's happening in Redmond. Jennifer has a, had a seizure. She's been taken to the infirmary. Marcus, this is an order from the authorities. You cannot argue his new access levels. B, the ability to make independent s solutions in emergency situations inconsistent with the operator. Basically he can override your boss. A can carry and use firearms. Okay, so that's really worrisome. I'm running a fever. This is why I asked you not to approach those things. Okay, this is... is there some kind of in, like infection going on? Don't move. You don't have access to the infirmary. Access code? Okay, you may enter. Look, and there's more like this weird black stuff leaking out. What is this? It's not blood. I don't know what it is. Most doctors fled the city. We're the only ones who stayed. The worst part is we can't help them. Look, it's like it's pouring out of people, but it's not blood. What is it? I don't really want to go near them. Water, friend. Give me some water. It is really cr look, look. It's leaking out of doors and through like ventilation grates and what is going on? Is that Jennifer? Cough. Okay. This is weird. I want to. I want to leave. Look, they've, have you noticed? All the infected people have like white eyes. Don't ask me. I know as much as you do. I heard they're back, but the government is silent. Who's back? Like, we got some gunpowder, that's a crafting item. This is secret information. I've got nothing. Some kind of heavily armoured box. Come in, they're waiting for you. And I think this is the general. He's here. They'll be, they'll be here in 20 minutes, sir. Listen to me now. Where were you heading to? I haven't got a clue. We're never told. Will stream? Will stream is no more, son. Just like the other mountain towns. We need your train to deliver an important cargo. It's being connected to the train now. Deliver it to New Cost Field. Wait. Wait for the f wait for those instructions. 
all of us do, but orders are orders. Ten minutes, sir. Damn, hurry up. Your new route has only barely been touched by them. There could be some survivors. Rescue the survivors is a bit it's your secondary mission. Go. Good luck, son. So basically we're being shoved on a train. What is that? It looks like a face of some kind, glowing eye, like a st maybe a star? Okay, this is really strange. Um, I have no idea what's going on. I still can't fight or anything, so I don't want to meet, meet anything. We've got a bloke leaking black fluid over the place. I feel them, they are close, finally. Yeah, well, you can be filled up by them on your own time. I don't want them to be part of it. Okay, that's horrifying. He's got black goo dripping out from his helmet and he's not talking. Okay, I need to leave. I need to leave right now. What the heck is that thing? Be gone! Be gone! Killed it with a chair. Man's ultimate weapon. Comfortable furniture. Oh, or wheeled furniture. House of Metropole to Martin Rodder, head of head of emergency stations A45, confirmation of blocker code 9947. Sorry, can't do anything about it. Our orders is to is to escort you to is to escort the cargo. Get on the train. 9947. Whatever you say, military blokes. Let's go. It sounds like this place is done for, and if whatever these things are are like mm, ten minutes away, I don't really want to be hanging around for them. What on earth is going on? Okay, so... We can't say anything. This is a secret operation. Right, I better check on the cargo. Level. Maybe they'll see some stuff if I go back to them. Oh god! Okay, blood everywhere. This is. They just took them off my train. What, what is going on? Right, keep it balanced. I think I'm gonna try and keep this one in, in balance with that. Oh, sorry, wrong button. There's, mess there's a message. Nicholas Wilson. Are you going to Redmond? Sorry, no, sorry. Is, there, is everything alright? I don't remember them building a tunnel here. Sorry, disconnected. It's disappearing. Okay. That's normally not a good sign. all folks for today I think we're going to call it quits just about here um, if you've liked please press the like button if you wish to subscribe please press the subscription button you can leave comments in the comment sections below or follow me on Facebook Facebook or Twitter at the links provided next time we shall press on and just see exactly what is going on in this world is it sort of like the second coming of, of like Christ or is it something much more sinister and what's all this black fluid leaking out we shall find out next time Catch you soon.